Shalom, uh, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, whom I learned the truth from, and uh, Shalom to the elect, pushing the truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Alright, so this is just a response video to internet chaos. Alright, uh, today is uh, Friday, July 4th. Alright, and then uh, I watched Nate's video on it. And then I uh, watch all the Tahar's response and the brother uh, Othniel, you know, and uh, I was compelled uh, to do this, uh, to, do, to do the response, man, because Nate is just a, truly a fucking, man, he, he just twists up scriptures like a fucking Rubik's Cube, man, you know, and uh, and like all the Tahar said, and what I got from Nate's video as well is he does play with the people's emotions, man, you know, he... He talks about a nine-year-old, then he shows you a picture of a fucking four, five, uh, five-year-old man. All right, but without further ado, I'm gonna get into these uh, records and laws that um, uh, age of consent, basically. And this is from a site called Discover the Truth: Age of Consent in European and American History. And I have the article highlighted in here. So it says, uh, what was the age of consent in European and American history prior to the 19th century, meaning prior to the 1900s? In this article, I shall bring forth evidences which demonstrate that the age of consent was indeed very young, even by today's standards. I will provide academic sources which show that girls were allowed to be married at the age of 10 years old and sometimes as young as 7 years old legally, it was norm just over a hundred years ago to see girls being married off at very young ages. In most cultures, the marriage would have been con consummated at the onset of puberty, which is the menstrual cycle. Now, these guys talking about we're pedophiles, we're rapists, we're this and that. Listen, man, like, not, you know what I mean? I can speak for myself. I've never raped uh, a, a, a woman, period. Whether you want to talk about a, a girl or, or, a, or a mature woman, you know, like uh, uh, Johannes Camp or Johanna set up that false witness saying that one of us in GMS Toronto raped a 90 year old woman, which is total fucking madness if you believe that shit, you know. But, um, and it's, and it's not like our whole doctrine is listen, you can rape, rape, rape. Nah, man, we didn't tell nobody you rape, man. It's just a part of the uh, of the gospel of the truth that we have to uh, that we have to show, just like in Ezekiel, what is the third chapter when he uh, Moses told Ezekiel eat the roll, right? It's lemon, um, it's full of lamentation, bitterness. All right, there's bitter parts of this truth, and uh, for you brothers that uh, think this is just a, this is just a, a walk, you know, a stroll in the park, you're going to be labeled as pedophiles, as as as, uh, as molesters, and, and all kinds of things. And that's what Nate's doing as a cop, you know. If you know about police, man, you can tell that guy is, is using those police tactics, man. Just what cops do. And by the way, uh, today's uh, July 4th. One of the brothers called me up earlier and we're in Toronto. And supposedly Nate doesn't have a Toronto camp, but these guys came up and they were out there today. And uh, one of Jake's neighbors and one of the brothers confronted him. And uh, he put me on the phone, man. I got so fired up, you know. And Lord's will, we're going to go there tomorrow on Saturday see if they're out there. There was four of them or whatever. And they're getting into the whole rape thing too in Deuteronomy, um, uh, the uh, was it the twenty-first chapter about the uh, the lay hold. All right, they're getting on that, and and them dudes are um, they were just um, uh, 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 trying to trying to maneuver it out, trying to maneuver their way out, you know, not not letting the brother speak. And I, I was on the phone the whole time, and I heard a lot of the uh, uh, commotion, you know. So these guys, and what they do, man, because they don't want to confront us, so they just, and they don't even post it on the internet. They only post a one video of them in Canada, in, in Toronto, you know? And then when they put the camera on the brother, the brother said, don't put the camera on me. And then the dude's like, oh, why, why, are you wanted? You know, like a, like something like a real cop would say, man. And the, what they're using is police tactics. Oh, those are those pedophiles. You know, you got to watch out for them sisters you gotta watch out man when you watch that video of Nate man he's just a fucking con man he's a, he's the pure wingmaster like the elders say you know you can't believe nothing that guy says man he's, he's, he's truly playing on your people's emotions man you know and we as as men of Yahweh Hashem Yashem we have to break down these strongholds we have to show you the truth you know but like I said man ain't none of us you know for my I can speak for myself 
I'm not raping no fucking girls out here, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And 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 through this lesson, I'm gonna show you the age of consent, how low it was. Because now in the, in Nate in Nate's video, he said, "Well, what is the uh, age of consent in New York?" He said, "18." Okay, you gotta abide by that. Well, we're gonna show you what the age of consent was in New York back in the day. All right, so these are all references from uh, scholars and historians. It says Professor Richard Wortley and Professor Stephen Smallbone, both of whom make it clear that prior to the 1900s, girls married very young. In medieval and early European societies, the age of marriage remained low, with documented cases of brides as young as seven years, although marriages were typically not consummated until the girl reached puberty, which is around, what, 12, 13? You know, and and these guys trying to make us make us out to be like some damn fucking rapists, and that's all our agenda is to rape, rape, and do all this craziness, man. You guys are totally bugged out, man. You guys are, you guys are, uh, you know, you guys are, you guys are out there, man. You guys are, your your mind is lost. It's a Shakespeare's Juliet was just thirteen, <laughs> and there is no hint in the play that was that this was considered to be exceptional. It says the situation was similar on the other side of the Atlantic. It says Bullo reports the case in 1689 of a nine-year-old bride in Virginia. At the start of the 19th century in England, it was legal to have sex with a 10-year-old girl. You know? So, hey, this is just the cases, man. So now that it's changed, like the brother in Dallas, uh, I, I believe his name is Ariala, he made the video about uh, hegemony. So uh, I believe his, the term is cultural or social hegemony. Basically, you accept this devil's. Uh, 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 basically, he's going back to Revelation. His image, man. His whole system. Everything that he says, you believe in it, man. You know, like in in America, at 18, you can join the army, but you can't drink. You got to be 21. Even fucking Tupac, he made that song. He said, uh, "I'm old enough." He's what he said. I'm, I'm I'm old enough to go to war, but I ain't old enough to drink. You know. So 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 East Coast laws totally vary, man. Like in Canada, they the drinking age is 19. So how how do those two years differ? And what concepts do those theory uh, do those uh, uh, ages di differ? You know what theories? You know, a nineteen twenty one. You know what I mean? Esau's totally bugged out, man. All right, we gotta look to these laws, to the laws of the Most High, to to uh, to to see these things, man. You know, to set a standard. It says in the book Sex and Society, Volume One, until the twentieth century u.s age of consent laws specifically names males as as perpetrators and females as victims following english law in which the age was set at 12 in 1275 and lowered to 10 in 1576 ages of consent in american colonies were generally set at age 10 or 12 now nate you know this too you're not that stupid jake was ruling during those times so what all those jakes they're all pedophiles and 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 weirdos you know and english law really stems from the bible man because the word the word england the word england goes back to uh land of the angels you know british means covenant land or sorry covenant man all right so you know that was all jake man all right 12 7 that was during the time of the crusades israel was ruling england all right it says the laws so like it down here the laws protected female virginity which at the time was considered a valuable commodity until marriage which that's totally scriptural right uh during the uh when the, when the man was given the woman and uh they went into the chambers and consummated the marriage meaning had had sex the uh the, the sheet on which they had sex on was was taken as a token because that uh, the woman's blood was on there which was a token of her virginity, and that was a that was a uh, valuable commodity. Because guess what? If she didn't bleed, hey, it tells you in a lot. A man can come back to the. Uh, uh, well, first of all, the woman would get put to death because that's she's a hoe, all right, and uh, and and a man gets his money back, you know, and it would be a great shame, in Israel, you know. It's folly. Uh, it says the theft of a girl's chastity was seen as a property crime against her father and future husband. If two people were married and had sex, no matter what their age, no crime was committed because a woman's a woman was her husband's property. 
It says, in practice too, the consent laws only protected white females as many non-white females were enslaved or otherwise discriminated against by the legal system, meaning uh, those are uh, the Israelites. Uh, number four, Richard A. Posner is chief judge of the U.S. Court of Appeals, Seventh Circuit, Chicago. Catherine B. Silbo is associate professor of Boston University School of Law. They admit before the 1900s, age of consent was 10 years old. It says the law governing the age of consent has changed dramatically in the United States during the century. Most states co codified a statutory age of consent during the 19th century, and the usual age was 10 years. You know, so Nate, like you're saying, oh, uh, uh, what is what is the law in uh, in uh, in New York? A a uh, 18 old. You gotta follow that. So what if it was 10 years old? Would you follow it too? You know, anything this devil tells you, you gotta follow. But on 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 most of these parts, they're right because during those times, you get your men's you 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 enter puberty, man. And when does a man become a man? What 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 is a uh, bar mitzvah about? About boy becoming a man. With the first signs of puberty, you know, like they, what, what do they say? Uh, you have your wet dream, you know, and you become a man. Uh, 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 you can, um, you, you can, um, what do you call it? Um, you have seed in you, basically. Now you can, you can uh, uh, procreate, you know. Number six, it says Professor of Sociology Anthony Joseph Paul Cortez, in the following quote, he says that a 50-year-old man being with a girl under 10. Being intimate un under United States law was legal until the mid-1960s. In 1962, the American Law Institute recommended that the legal age of consent to sex, that is, the age below which sex is defined as statutory rape, be dropped in every state to age 10. In fact, until the mid-1960s, the legal age of consent in Delaware was 7. So a 50-year-old man could legally have sexual intercourse with a 7-year-old boy or girl. Alright? Which if it was a if he had a sex with a boy he'd be a fucking uh, a faggot get put to death, you know. But not in America, of course. Babylon the Great. But uh, like I said, hey, and and then and then you're quoting about the Talmud. Listen, man, like Elitar said, we don't follow the damn Talmud. But see, he's trying to get all deep now, man. He's trying to get all deep on you, you know. And he gives you these little skims, and 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 your followers are like, oh, the Book of Talmud. What's that? I hope he does a lesson on that. When when the elders been doing lessons on those things, man. We don't follow the Mishnah, the the, 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 the Kabbalah, the Talmud. We don't follow none of those pieces of shit, man. That That's all the Khazar follows, man. You know? <coughs> it's like it. <coughs> it says, verse 7, or sorry, number 7. <coughs> it says, Maureen Deba is a writer and author, born in Michigan, she serves as a Virginia Supreme Court family mediator. She echoes the same statements as previous authors. In the 19th century, the minimum age of consent for sexual intercourse in most American states was 10 years. In Delaware, it was only 7. And then they got this thing, uh, statutory rape, which if a man has sex with a, uh, with, a, with a woman or a girl that's under the legal consent age, that's rape. But see... You have so many, Esau's laws are amendable. That's why he has a thing called amendments, which the word amend means to change. Like you have the word mend or, or amendable. Like you mend an a, 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 a iron pipe, like you bend it to change. But most size laws don't change. You know, it, in nature, when a woman has a menstrual, her first menstrual, she becomes a woman. And, uh, and the same thing goes for the man. All right? So it says down here, number eight, <clears throat> Mike A. It says, Males is an American sociologist who writes from a pro-youth rights perspective. Males is a professor at the University of California. He says, these early laws specified that a girl conceding to sex had to be at least 10 to 12 years old in most states, with a few specifying ages as old as 14 or 16. In Delaware, the age of consent was seven, based on ancient English laws settling the age squire. It says, Arthur Sicken, author of the book, What's Wrong in America? A Look at Troublesome Issues in Our Country, goes in a lot more detail on the issue of marriage at earlier times. Traditionally, across the globe, the age of consent for sexual union was a matter for the family to decide, or tribal custom. In most cases, this coincided with signs of puberty, 
menstruation for women and pubic hair for men. Sir Edward Coke in 17th century England made it clear that the marriage of girls under 12 was normal at the age at which a girl who was a wife was eligible for, the, for a dower or dowry in the scriptures from her husband's estate was nine. The American colonies followed the English, to, English tradition and the law was more of a guide. For example, Mary Hathaway of Virginia was only nine when she was married to William Williams. It says Portugal, Spain, Denmark, and the Swiss canons initially set the age of consent at t 10 or 12, 10 to 12 years, and then raised it to between 13 and 16 in the second half of the 19th century. Historically, the English common law set the age of consent to range from 10 to 12. In the United States, by the 1880s, most states set the age of consent at 10 to 12, and in one Delaware, the age of consent was only 7. Social and resulting legal attitudes toward the appropriate age of consent have drifted upwards in modern times. For example, while ages from 10 to 13 were typically acceptable in Western countries during the mid-19th century, the end of the 19th century and beginning of the 20th century were marked by changing. I believe that a lot of our current more mores, or I think he's, he meant morals, come from reluctant to let our children mature mentally as quickly as our bodies do. Keep in mind that not all societies share Western morals, and, and to my surprise, until the, part, until the latter part of the 19th century, children in the Western nations were engaged and married at a much earlier age. The trend to give children more time to mature is relatively new. In his book, The em Emphatic Civilization, Jeremy Rifkin points out that the concept of adolescence only emerged during the last decade of the 19th century and the first three decades of the 12th, 20th century. Society started to think of childhood as extending beyond puberty into the latter or later teenage years. Before that, children were considered to graduate into adulthood with the onset of puberty. All right, uh, number 10, the American Bar Association Journal, August 1996, 1275, English common law criminalizes statutory rape between a man and a woman below the age of consent, which was first set at 12 years. All right, uh, some more down here. It says 14, uh, Mary D. Smith says that the age which a girl could marry was 10 to 13 in most societies. To that end, from ancient times to the present, Many societies have acted to try to safeguard children from rape and other forms of sexual degradation. Though they might de define sexual degradation differently from era to era and from place to place, right? Like, of course, we all know having sex with a, with a girl that's fucking five, six years old, seven years old, eight years old is going off, man, you know? And at, in the ancient world, when a woman had a menstrual cycle, her father had the choice to give her to a man or to keep her f um, for another man, you know, for a later age. All right, but guess what? In Deuteronomy, what, what we're reading, uh, what was it? I forget which chapter, 20, 21, or 22, yeah, 22, Deuteronomy 22, I believe it was verse 28. If a man found a woman that's not a betrothed a virgin, you know, that's, that's not betrothed and she's a virgin and he take her, meaning sees her, that woman becomes uh, 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 his wife. All right. So we know now from error, like it says, error to error, place to place. Now it's it's seen as weird, an older man with a younger woman. You know. But in the in ancient times, that was that was a normal thing. But but faggots can roam free. You know. We just had the fucking <coughs> well, gay pride <coughs> in Toronto. We had transgenders walking around. You think that the the the, the, the fucking woman is a is a woman? It's a fucking man. That's not a sexual degradation. That's how twisted the white man is. And that's you niggas too, man. You IUIC, that thing will be split up, man. I can see it. Because your whole thing is divided now, man. You're, 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 uh, you're, uh, you know, you're, uh, you're blowing your last air, basically, man, out of your ass. You know, you, you ain't got no more air, man. You're just, you're just throwing things out. Cointel Pro, all this madness. Yet your, uh, your elder is a fucking third grade detective, man. You know? Which the word degree means grade. Going back to grade, he's a fucking mason. You know? 
You guys are fucking retards, man. You're zombies. You know? It says, um... It says, one way societies have tried to protect young girls is through laws that designate a statutory age of consent. Such laws prohibit men from having sexual relations with females under a specified age on legal theory that they are too young and immature to make informed decisions and therefore incapable of giving illegal consent. Historically, the age of consent was set at 10 or 13 years, depending on the era and the culture, and tended to coincide with female puberty, which was also the age at which a female could marry without parental permission. All right, and then like in Canada, for example, you can leave your house when you're uh, 16, and that's not known as, as a runaway, and, and cops can't bring you back because you're a so-called adult. But why can't you drink till 19? All right? Esau's things is based on his psych psychological, theoretical bullshit. You know, Esau's a madman. You, you guys should know that. What are you going to... Uh, how, how, how does Esau base his things on? What does Esau base his thing, things on? Not the Bible. He doesn't base his theories on the Bible. All right? So how so how can you how can you listen to a man like that? You know? Uh number fifteen, Melissa Hope Ditmore. Alright. United States, the age of consent was much lower. For example, in New York, in New York, Nate, oh, the, the, the age of consent is what? Eighteen? You, you gotta buy, abide by that. For example, in New York, the age of consent was ten years until eighteen eighty five. After 1885, age of consent laws changed around the country, reaching 16 in New York in 1889 and 18 in 1895. Prior to these changes, the age of consent in most places in the United States was 10 or 12 years. All right. So that was it on that. And uh, I got just one article. Okay, because in Canada, well, we'll read about it. Uh, this is from uh, CBC News, uh, February May 1st, 2008. Canada's age of consent raised by two years. It says, it is now illegal for adults in Canada to have sex with a partner under the age of 16. All right. One of the new provisions of the Tories' violent crime law that came into effect on Thursday. It says, the Tackling Violent Crime Act raises the legal age of sexual consent in Canada to 16 from 14, the first time it has been raised since 1892. So from 1892 till 2008, uh, an, an adult can have sex with a 14-year-old. Is, is he a pedophile? Under Esau's law, no. You know, but really, it's, it's going back to the most size law. But under Nate's law, if you had a, if you had a IUIC Canada, and you had a man that was 30 years old, and you had a 14-year-old woman, is, is he a pedophile? See how, you see how stupid Nate is, man? Alright, and that was basically it. So that was my little quick response. You know, and uh, Nate, man, he's just a fucking con man. And in that video, your brother seen he used the fucking blue letter Bible. Trying to, you know, trying to play games and shit, man. Alright, Nate is just a big fucking... He's just a wingmaster, man. That's all I can say. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the elders of Great Millstone, whom I learned the truth from. And uh, shalom to the elect. Uh, until next time, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai willing, I say play on.